Well, first, I, I forgot to warn the men earlier. This might sound like tongues to you, but it's really Brooklynese. Okay. So let me greet you in Brooklynese. How you doing? Ah, forget about it. Well, anyway, I'm Robert Borelli. That, that is my name today. It wasn't that name about 14 years ago. But anyway, I want to talk to you about how God rescued, redeemed, and restored my life. I come from a background... My mom and dad, legitimate people, didn't have much of anything. But I had a lot of wise guys in my neighborhood. I don't know if any people might have seen Goodfellas, true story. Some of them friends of mine, not bragging on them. Just to give you a little idea of the background I come from. Lifestyle that I used to live. Got caught up in that. Lived that type of lifestyle for a while. Drugs came into the picture, big money. Started using it, became a crackhead. I went from Robert, the up-and-coming star, to known as Robert the Crackhead, homeless in 1996. 1997, I got a visit by two angels. They didn't have halos, they didn't have wings, they had two pistols. I call them my angels today because that was the last day I had a drink, a drug, or a crime committed in my life. See, they were police officers and I was wanted men, and they finally got me. You need to listen to this here, please. In 1997, I was locked up in Rikers Island. I literally felt, I can't tell you there's a biblical verse for this, that I had one foot in hell and was about to take the other step in it when God rescued me from all that. This testimony couldn't be possible if it wasn't for the redemption work of the cross. You see, God paid the price for my sins. You see, basically, it was his mercy that he didn't give me what I did deserve. And by his grace, God has restored me and gave me what I don't deserve. Amen? I have a lovely wife today. God never wastes a hurt. I've been through a lot of things in my life. But even coming as a Christian... I have to tell you, there was some pain. Remember the old saying, no pain, no gain? Well, it works. I gained a lot, but I had to lose a lot. My mom passed away in 1999. I was in the witness protection program. Let me just tell you a little bit about that. I'm just going to tell you one thing. After I confessed everything that I ever did in my life, when the Bible says the truth shall set you free, Hallelujah to that, because I felt free after that. My mom passed away when I was in the witness protection program. I didn't know it until three days later because nobody could notify me. I wasn't able to go to her funeral services because I was in the witness protection program and couldn't go back home. God never wasted her because he used that moment in my life for me to go out and give the love that I want to give to my mother, to other mothers and fathers, and I started a nursing home ministry in San Antonio, Texas. God never wasted a hurt. I was stranded from my daughter for 15 years. Her family didn't believe what I did, didn't want to accept it. I was a drug addict, I was no good. In their terms, they called me a rat, not the truth teller, but a rat, a liar, and all those things, and I didn't be able to see my daughter. Her mother, God changed her heart after prayer for 10 years. Her mother sent me a video of my daughter growing up as a kid for a sweet 16 party. And I looked at that video and I cried like a baby because there's not one picture of me in that video. God never wastes the hurt. Through that crying, God spoke to me and said, I want you to go out and I want you to talk and speak. And, and, and met, give them a message to these young kids and to people that God can rest you, redeem, and restore. Young guys, let me just tell you this. Young women, let me tell you this. The coolest thing I ever found out in my life is not the lifestyle I that I used to live, but the ones that are different, the ones that are stand up for Christ as a, as a youth. And let me just tell you this. I may not be everything that you want me to be, and I may not be everything that I want me to be, but listen, everybody in Brooklyn, New York says, thank God he's not who he used to be. Amen? God bless you.